Hey gamers, Maniac here, rocking the Doom shirt today. And welcome back to Maniac's Kitchen. I promised you guys guacamole, and we're gonna have guacamole, are we? Ingredients for a guacamole recipe really can't be simpler. You're gonna need an avocado, you're gonna need lime, and you're gonna need onion. And that's pretty much all the fresh ingredients we're gonna need. Okay, the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to cut this avocado in half in order to hollow it out and remove the pit. Now, I only have two hands and I can't cut this thing without cutting myself with just one hand. So we're gonna have to use fast editing here. Yes, I do not have the best knife work in the world right now, but as you can see here, I've cut this avocado in half and I have removed the pit entirely. We are not eating the pit, throw the pit out. This is ripe enough avocado that we're gonna just simply start scooping the avocado guts out of it using a spoon and we're going to put it in this little mixing bowl. Okay, as you can see, we've got the avocado pieces in here. We're gonna start mashing that up in just a little bit. I would recommend using a potato masher to mash it up. But for right now, let's just leave it as it is and let's move to the next ingredients. Now, we've got some lime here and we've got some uh, onion here, fresh onion. We're gonna dice up the fresh onion and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do that just really quick. We're gonna dice it up into little tiny pieces and we're gonna add that to the avocado mix. We're also gonna uh, cut the lime in half, but we're gonna juice it, kinda like how we juiced lemons. Because, trust me on this, when you add this plus lime juice to this, magic happens. That looks like enough onion. They say we just uh, dump that with the avocado. Okay, we cut the lime in half, and now we're just gonna juice it. Again, don't worry about pulp. You'll be fine with that, but we wanna get plenty of lime juice on this. That's gonna prevent this from turning, because that's always a big problem when you're dealing with guacamole. Okay, so we pretty much got all the major ingredients in here for right now. All that's left is essentially to season it. Now, at the very least, you're gonna wanna season it with sea salt. If you're trying to watch your salt intake, then don't go too heavy on this. But for me, I'm definitely going to be of mind to say add sea salt to it at the very least. My girlfriend also prefers to add cayenne pepper to this. We're going to talk about spice blends in just a second. But for right now, let's just add the salt. You can spice it however you want. Um, as I said before, my girlfriend prefers to just simply sprinkle cayenne pepper on her avocado. And that pretty much is good for her. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little spice blend. There's a local vendor at local fairs named Auntie Erwin Spices. And uh, I'm going to give uh, one of her spicy blends. This is called um, Klingon in the Alley uh, Spice Blend. This is hot. It includes things like mace and, um, oh gosh, what else is in here? Uh, red chili, paprika, allspice, lemongrass. Yep. It's good for fish. But, um, yeah, we're, we're just going to sprinkle some of this on here. Not too much, because this, this is actually pretty hot. So, not the hottest thing Auntie Arwen does. That's the ghost pepper. But that's always sold out. <laughs> Once you've basically got everything mixed together, it's up to you not whether or you, how you want the texture and consistency of your guacamole. I'm going to leave it like this. But if you have a potato masher, then you could probably mash this all up into a goo. That's entirely up to you. But essentially, once you've spiced it, it's it's ready to eat. You can eat it now, you can eat it, obviously refrigerated if you don't plan to eat it immediately. But um, what you can choose to eat it with or what you want to eat it with is entirely up to you. I know that the common thing nowadays is to simply just spread it on toast. I personally prefer to eat it with chips, although I might actually be putting this on a sandwich later, so. We'll see what happens there. Well, for me, I'm going to be eating this guacamole on this club sandwich. I don't know how they let me get away with this. I'm not even a member. <laughs> There's nothing better than a club sandwich of avocado, I'll tell you that. Until next time, guys, my name is Maniac with GameAccess.net. Take care, over and out.